Hello, my name is Kathy Dixon and welcome to The Math Reflective. I just had to make a video today because of everything that's going on in the world. I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like I'm walking through life in slow motion right now. Maybe we're all a little bit in shock or everything just feels very surreal. So I wanted to let you know that as a sixth grade teacher in Illinois who is now moving to e-learning starting on Monday, starting tomorrow, I am with you. I'm going through the same things as you and I love this community that we have that I'm seeing all over the world in so many different ways of people reaching out, supporting, building up, and helping each other through this. I currently am piloting in a second year of Open Up Resources 6-8 Math, authored by Illustrative Mathematics. So I'm going to begin a series of videos that are going to inspire, help, support, reflect on what it's like to be a teacher that's doing e-learning now online as, the, as most of the country will be in the coming weeks. So I'm not exactly sure of everything I'm going to be doing, but since I do like to make vlogs, I thought it would be a great way and a great venue to just share and keep in touch with everybody in the Facebook community of Open Up and beyond. So it doesn't really matter if you are a math teacher or not. Maybe these videos will help you, maybe they won't. One thing that I think is really important is that we keep a sense of humor right now. Not joke about the virus and not joke about people dying at all, but I did see funny a funny thing on Facebook yesterday of somebody that I used to play tennis with, and he wrote something about Happy Pi Day, and he said it's a nerd's dream day. No sports to be watching and social distancing is encouraged. I thought that was a little funny. Now, I'm actually a very highly extroverted person, so this social distancing thing makes me feel a little blah, and a little flat to be you know, alone for hours in a day. Um, so I'm sure that many students are gonna feel that way too. So one of the first things that I'm going to do before tomorrow is make a little welcome to e-learning video for my students. I'm gonna go ahead and post that as well. Once I get that, I'll upload it to Facebook just to give you an idea of one way to stay connected with your students. Um, you know, my dream is to maybe do a little one every day, but we'll see how it goes with that. But. I'm gonna be offering some tips and some essentials that we need to keep in mind when we're moving to e-learning. And first of all, I wanna claim that I am no expert in any way. I planned some really simple things for next week. I'm not being super fancy or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another video and try to uplo upload that by tomorrow, just to share with everybody, you know, what does it look like to do this? Um, just to give you a little background, I teach in Illinois and we are one-to-one -one with iPads. So that does make it a lot easier for the teachers in our district. And I'm gonna go more into that in my next video. But just wanted to say hello and just know that we're all kind of in this together. And I do get excited about community and how people will gather together and join forces and, and show their strength in numbers. So we are definitely stronger and better together. So let's all, Take a deep breath together. We've got this. Are you ready for more?